Hey, it's Joe Glines from an Automator, and I got a really cool script. A lot of people, you know, always ask me if we have a certain download or if we have a video on something. And, and I know we have over 1,400 auto hotkey videos, right? We have uh, several hundred, uh, maybe 300 ish downloads and examples of scripts. So it's hard. And then also, if you're trying to find something in your documentationary for auto hotkey v1 or v2 help, it's kind of hard to keep track of it all. So this tool, it's really, really cool. Um, the first time you launch it, now mine it may not take too long, I'm going to launch it here. You get a little screen, it comes up, student will... What it just did was it got the JSON file I built with another program, I'll cover that um, near the end of this video. First, first I want to show functionality. And I'm going to change this where it sorts it automatically by the most recent. So these are, you know, downloads available, other, but you can search. So let's say I wanted to know about substring. So I don't, looks like I don't have any exact videos with that title, because I'm only searching the titles of my videos and downloads. But um, substring, let's say, parse, nothing parse text, parse. But here you get an idea, and um, there's downloads, or I can change it to say I want to look for YouTube. And so it gives you an idea, and when you double click it, it will pull you to that video. But anyway, okay. So it's a great little script, or if I just want to look up in V2, what, what's under parse? Oh, loop parse, okay. Parse a loop, I can double click it, and I'll pull up the web page on dealing with parse. So it's a great little tool that can save you a ton of time. Um, and, and what's really cool, and actually I think we'll build a button here to save refresh, but what it does is it goes and downloads a current version of this um, JSON file, which I build from my other tool. So the other tool I have, um, now this one we're not sharing, this tool here, Pretty Links Manager, because it connects to our database uh, that feeds the automator, the WordPress database using MySQL. Um, and it's connecting at a, at a level that like, if we gave people access that they could destroy our website. So I'm not giving that out, right? But um, I can hit refresh, when I hit refresh, it goes and checks if I have any new pretty links, and of course I can add a new one. But what's also cool is it builds a JSON file that then gets pushed into an FTP server, and that is what this other script, this resource finder, this one uses. So it's a great little tool to help you find what you're looking for very quickly, find if it's available in the automator. Let's see if courses, course prop, no? Oh, that's because I have that there. Let's say all course. Um, you can find our courses. I would say that'd probably be a download, actually. So yeah, here are different courses we have. Um, so you get the idea, right? Uh, you can tell it's very fast, very simple way. Um, you can also go to your preferences, and this one we, we haven't finished it yet, but we're using it. Oh, that's the pretty links one. Sorry, this one, and say, oh, let me go to my preferences. And here, right now, it's it's bound to the um, control key and special X button the second one. Uh, but if you choose like a keyboard, a hot string, whatever, I'm gonna choose mouse, it pulls up with this new window. Now, if I wanted to have that context sensitive, I could drag this onto a program, but of course we we probably, well, you might wanna have it where only if I'm in VS code, like I, I want it to be in VS code and only when I trigger this, then you could have it like, you know, your con left control click, right? That might might be fine for you, right? Uh, but you get the idea, right? So you pick your, your mouse hotkey, um, and a wind and any sort of these modifier keys and um, you don't have to give it a context menu and just hit apply I'm gonna hit cancel here but that allows you to change your preferences so you have mouse um, a keyboard hotkey so this will bring up same context menu if you want it bound but then you can say oh control and the a right which would be horrible because then you lose your control all control shift a right but again, you can. this makes it really easy. Let's say I wanted it bound to that preferences window. Not that that'd be horrible, right? But um, let's say I want it bound to this window. Um, we're automatically doing that in the background for you so you don't have to write the code, right? And we're gonna make that class available as well of this selection thing so every, anyone can do that. So I'm gonna hit cancel there. So hopefully you get the idea. It's a really cool script that will st um, stay updated as long as you still connect to the internet. And what I think we'll do is, like I said, we'll make a button up here that says refresh. But um, I think it's built to every time you launch it, it will go pull new data. Now, granted, we don't add stuff daily. Maybe close to every day we add one thing, but um, it's usually every several days or once, once or twice a week we're adding new videos or pretty links um, or downloads or, you know, and then the documentation. In that step, when we, we pull the, when I hit refresh, it goes and it actually builds the, 
It grabs the auto hockey help files. I think it does that live. It also gets all the pretty links and it goes, uses our API to go pull the YouTube videos we have. So it does a lot. It's a really cool tool that um, you should be able to get a lot of help out of. Hope you enjoyed that. Please like the video if you learned something. If you're interested in building tools like this, uh, we have lots of great courses. I think we're up to 14 courses now in AutoHotKey. All of them come with a double your money back guarantee. And you're more than welcome to check them out. And you have nothing to lose because, you know, if you do, you're not happy in the, the first 30 days, if you're not completely satisfied, we'll double what you paid for it. So, hope you enjoyed that. Cheers.